Hi, hello, good morning, and happy Friday. <laughs> You'll be watching this um, Thursday, or you know, whenever you watch this. But anyways, happy Friday, um, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dierica. It's like Erica with a D in front of it and an apostrophe. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So glad you're back. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I eat in a day. I'm trying to do things that I usually always do and then also try some things with you guys. But on days that I don't work, obviously it's different than days when I do work since I'm a nurse and it's just different when you're at the hospital. Just you eat when you can. And I did do a video though about that. So if you wanna watch that, that'll be linked. And um, so yeah, so right now I just woke up, did like my skincare, put on my contacts, did some braids, cause I'm going to the gym soon. And I always try to start with drinking some water. So like on my nightstand, I have my water bottle. So anyway, so I'm gonna be sipping on this water while I do my devotional. Just sitting here. I just also do my devos in the morning because if I don't do it in the morning, I will most likely forget about it and it's something that's really important to me. So if there's something that's really important to you, make sure you do it in the morning um, because your day just gets so busy and then you'll just like forget about it. So let's get into it. Okay, I am starving this morning. Thankfully we have food, so that's good. The mornings before I go to the gym really vary. If I'm not that hungry, I'll just get like a piece of toast or something and an egg. But this morning, we're making some breakfast. Um, I also love breakfast so much, so I'm very excited. And you know like when you buy, buy avocados and like they're not ready and you just like, don't know how many days it'll take for them to be ready. Well, they're ready, so, so excited. Um, okay, I'll, let me lay everything out and then I'll take you through like the lineup and what we're gonna eat, okay? All right, let me show you the lineup we have here. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna wash some strawberries to have, um, and then I'm gonna have like probably half of this avocado with, chop up this into little cubes, this is the oven roasted turkey breast from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna chop all this up. I'm gonna do a whole egg and then just like the whites of this one. And yeah, so let's get cooking. Guys, I forgot about one ingredient. Didn't realize we had some. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay, now let's get to cooking. First I add a little chopped onions with olive oil and let it like cook and marinate so that gives it like a lot of flavor. The second thing I add is um, the mushrooms because that takes a little bit more than the other things to cook. So I'm gonna cook that a little bit and then some seasonings that I use. I love, love tahini. It's so good. Um, and this one is the reduced sodium one. I just love it. It's like limey and I don't know, they use it for like spicy marks, like the rim around it. It's so good. Um, so I always use tahini for like everything I feel like. Some other seasonings I use. 
I honestly just like throw things in there. But I love pepper. I always use pepper. Okay, this is getting a little bit too crazy. I'm gonna add some stuff. So we're gonna add the turkey and the tomatoes. Honestly, you might have the egg. Oh, yes. Smells so good. Let's crack the egg. Oh. That was. That cracked like. So I try not to add the jalapenos in like too soon because it could be really spicy. Um, I do like spicy, but you know. All right, oof, guys, this smells so good. I wish I could like let you guys try some, but you know, hopefully you just try it at home. Let's add the jalapeno. And then I already washed the strawberries, so that's ready. So the egg's like almost done. So I'm gonna add some of the cheese. And the cheese I use is pepper jack cheese. It's just because we had it. I love pepper jack cheese. I like Swiss cheese. I'm not not a dairy girl. I love some dairy. So love cheese, feta cheese. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna show you guys before I plate it. This is what it's looking like. Guys, I don't think you're ready to see this. It looks amazing. I just, I love all the colors. I gotta eat. This is looking so good. All right, let's, let's eat. Also guys, I forgot to add. So with my breakfast, I try to drink my greens. Um, these are the metabolic greens, Biotrust. I don't know. I don't, honestly, I just feel like, I feel like it doesn't taste too bad. And I just don't know if it's because of how I prepare it. Also, I'm almost out, so I kind of want to try Bloom, maybe. I feel like I've heard like a lot of people like that a lot. All right, so you get one scoop. Got some water in it. I feel like I go into like... Also, you have to drink your greens in a cute cup because if you don't, then you're doing it wrong. So, all right, got some water in here. Now, for the special ingredient that I think is why I actually like to drink it is some coconut water from Trader Joe's, it's so good. Or orange juice, just like a little bit though, because one time I literally mixed it, I added a lot and I couldn't drink it, it was so gross. Okay, so just a little bit. Okay, let's I feel like green juices are really grainy, so just don't, don't be afraid to just Go to town in this. All right, let's take a sip. See, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, let's take our first bite. Just trying to get a little bit of everything in here. Cheers. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Avocado. Mmm, so freaking good. Wow, it's amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish and I'm going to the gym. So we'll take some pre-workout together after I finish this, okay? Such a good breakfast. Um, so now I'm ready for the gym. Let's go, let's get them gains. <laughs> um, okay, so pre-workout. Let's talk about pre-workout. Okay, so I I talked a little bit about this in like my last video, just about how like I really was never a huge like gym girly. I it would never go by myself. Like I would be so scared, never knew what to do, like all that stuff. And now I go to the gym like four to five times a week. And that's not just that's not for me to be like, oh haha, I go to the gym four to five times a week. No, it's because you can do it. Like whoever's watching you know you're saying like oh i could never do that yes you can yes you can okay anyways so going that many times i realized i'm like i sometimes i'm like not super energized and like a little groggy and i'm um a nurse and so i work 12-hour shifts and then i still want to go to a gym and i'm like 
it is very hard to find energy after you are like on your feet for 12 hours. But this has helped so much, I feel like. It's pre-workout, which I feel like I was always very much like, no, I don't want pre-workout. But I feel like I also didn't want it because I couldn't find like a good one that had clean, good ingredients and actually tasted good because I feel like a lot of them like don't really taste good. So I found this, oops, powders. And this one is my new one I just bought. It's sour gummy. So we're gonna try it. I like the pink lemonade, it's probably my favorite, but obviously, well, I can't say it's my favorite because I haven't tried the other two flavors, so yeah. But we just got this one, so let's try it out. I'll take like a small sip here, but I usually drink it in the car. It smells like a sour gummy. Oh, also I have a code. Um, it's Dierica 10 for 10% 10 off. I started with like half a scoop just because I didn't know how my body would react to it because I don't really drink caffeine very much. But now I feel like I'm at like three fourths of a scoop. Let's try it. Cheers. That's like so good. It's definitely not, like it's not sour, like which is weird because the pink lemonade, which is my fave, I don't know, this is not bad at all. I really like it. But the pink lemonade, I feel like it's more like a, cause it's like lemony, so it's like a little bit more sour. But this flavor is so good. I love it, it's so good. Um. So yeah, definitely check it out. Why do I have an accent, I don't know. Definitely check it out and use my code. Okay, thanks, I guess. All right, let's take pre-workout. Just got to the gym. It's gonna be pool day today. Yeah, I like this. This is good. All done. Now let's get those gains. Hi, hello guys. I am so sweaty. Like, oh my gosh. It was a very good workout. Like I said, I did some pool day. It was great. And then I finished with a 10 minute run, like interval run. And it was killer, especially because I did legs yesterday. Like I was like, I can't, I can't do this. So anyways, I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna get like one or two things for dinner tonight. And then going home and making a little smoothie. So back from Trader Joe's, I'm about to make myself a smoothie with like some Greek yogurt, which has really good protein. But I just want to show you, I also drink this sometimes after the gym. It's the Lani New Fit Shake. I like the munchies. It's like sweet and salty kind of thing. It's really good. So I take either this or I have some extra time today, so I'll make a smoothie. I got this yogurt. I don't know how to say it. Oikos? Oikos. Oikos. Um, triple Zero Blended Greek Yogurt. It has 17 grams. It has a lot of protein. So... We're using this for our post-workout. I did just order the protein powder, the vanilla protein powder from Ritual. So I'll have to let you guys know how that goes. But for now, we're having that. It's vanilla. We're adding some of this collagen powder. Um, we're gonna add some greens, some kale and spinach um, that I froze. So I'll add like one half of a banana. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Mangoes. I'll probably just do a little bit of berries just to add some sweetness to it. And then just a little bit of almond butter. Caitlin, my sister-in-law is coming over soon and we're gonna go on a walk. I'm also gonna make her a smoothie. She said she wants berries, spinach, yogurt, banana, almond butter, and a little bit of coconut water. So we'll do that and let's get it rolling.
Are you freaking kidding me? <gasps> this is embarrassing. Oh God. Whew. That was scary. Ooh, it's good. It's good. Ooh, that's good. It's so good. There's a lot of flavors in here. And I really love all of them. Amazing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> this is why I married a tall guy. I can't reach. Jared's out here. Ooh, I have my platform arm. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Thank you, Uggs. Whew, that was intense. All right, let's pour this thing. Wait, if this isn't perfect, I don't know what is. This is amazing. Wow, I love this. I think I'm gonna start making Caitlin's because she will probably be here soon. See you for lunch. Yeah. Hi, hello guys. My hair is just getting crazier and crazier. We just got back from our walk and I'm gonna make me some lunchy lunch now. Um, I'm not gonna eat too much because it's already like 1.30, almost two o'clock. So, and I might have an early dinner because um, Jared's other sister has a basketball game I didn't know of, so might try to go with that tonight. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, um, I love tuna like so much. I know that's like a hot take sometimes because people like hate tuna, but I really like it a lot. So um, I actually had this for lunch yesterday. It's like really easy, really fast. But basically, get a bowl, put some tuna in there, um, get a, a tomato, put it in there as well. I have some brown rice, and I was meaning to get cucumber from Trader Joe's, but I forgot. So I normally put some cucumber in there, I'm gonna put some jalapenos in there, um, and then my other half from this morning. And then I like season it with some olive oil, lemon juice, and then like just some random seasonings like salt, pepper, tahini, and I will also probably have some of these chips. The siete chips, the lime ones, they're just healthy grain-free tortilla chips. That is very yummy, and I think that is probably all I'm gonna do for lunch. Also, I didn't really talk about this in the beginning, but I'm not really, like tracking my macros or like anything. Um, I was tracking like sometime last year, but it's just so hard for me because I feel like I, like Jared and I, when we have like friends over and whatever, um, we typically go out to eat sometimes or I don't know. I just don't like feeling like limited. So I try to eat like intuitively where I'm like, okay, am I actually hungry? Do I actually need to eat? And then like post-workout, obviously I'm like, okay, I definitely need to eat more. And then just like when I'm full, like trying to like stop eating there. Um, so yeah, so just trying to eat like intuitively, kind of like what does my body need, like energy wise and all that stuff. I think that's just like really important. Um, but obviously like doing any like diets or lifestyle um, changes with your food is always like a good idea if that is your goal. So yeah, this video is just kind of to give you guys some ideas of some like recipes, some quick little fast things to do so you can eat um, healthier and better. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna make this and I'll show you guys the end product, okay? All right guys, I just finished making it. It looks so good. If you like tuna, then like, you know, definitely try this out. But I added like some jalapenos in it too. And also, I might go to jail for this. So don't come after me. You can if you want to, I don't really care. But 
Guys, I, I, I told you this morning, I love cheese. I'm a dairy girl, okay? That's just how it is. Am I gonna add Parmesan cheese into this mix? Yes. <laughs> but that is that. Okay, all right, let's, let's take it, give it a go. Mm -hmm. So good. So freaking good. Just the right amount of spiciness too. Mm. Amazing. This is one of the meals that I feel like I can eat forever. And not get tired of it. Chef's kiss. See you for dinner. Hi, hello guys. So I just showered, got ready and like, just got ready. Put on a big sweatshirt. <laughs> Um, and I am gonna go to the basketball game and it's at six and since I ate so late like lunch I'm not like super hungry to eat right now. But I'm just gonna eat like this um, nectarine guy um, Because I feel like I will be hungry maybe and um, I'm gonna prep the salmon um, And just put it in like aluminum foil so it, when I come back I can like eat it pretty fast And then I will set the oven for like 400 and I'll check it at like 10 minutes and it usually needs a good like 12 minutes but it depends on how like thick the salmon is. So I'll check it at 10 minutes and then put like two more minutes and two more minutes if it really needs to continue but I'll cook it after we come back from the basketball game. See you then. All right guys we're back from the basketball game. Put some broccoli in here. Did the same kind of like condiments I did for the salmon and it looks so good it smells amazing and then salmon is going this is our dessert maddie's gonna have one so i'm gonna get two and put the dark chocolate reese's on there and then these are the sweet warren's cookies celeste sugar and it looks great so we're gonna have it and that is it i think all right i'll show you guys when it's all done all right guys broccoli is done Salmon is done. All right, guys, this is the final product. I already started eating some of the salmon, sorry. Um, and I got some orange juice. But I think I am gonna actually have this little bubbly drink. It's this black tea juice beverage. Let's try it out. Guys, look at that. Looks so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow, that's amazing. <sighs> All right, guys, well, that is just the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting and found some new recipes to try. If you do, let me know in the comment section that you tried it and thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like this video it means so much to me and i appreciate all of you guys that are watching and leave a comment and let's be friends thanks i guys love you